So I absolutely do have to buy something I can drive home in today now, and I have no option. I'm interested to see what James' bidding technique is going to be. You know, we've got the, the head nod, the hand up, the, the wave. I'm going to get bidding mad. And this, people, is why you check the MOT histories oh. before you buy a car. Did you spot that, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Right, let's go out here, Toby. My winner is coming through. We've got to make sure we buy it. The rules have changed. The goalpost has moved. You don't have to buy a car off me in the car park at this rate. No, I just got one, mate. What'd you get? I got the winner, I got the micro. You didn't? 1500 clip out. Oh, no, hang on. So, oh, what's yours? Engine operation has got an exhalation mark on it. Ticks across the board. Ticks across the board. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today, you join me at Afton Barclay Westbury, where I've come to try and buy a few bits for the forecourt. But I haven't come alone. I've actually got James from Chops Garage with me, who was here to buy some stock, but now it's more of a necessity than a want, isn't it? It is. After a week of telling everybody on TikTok uh, that a L322 uh, Range Rover is better than a Land Cruiser, mine has decided to dump all of its oil yeah. in the car park at the Premier Inn. So I have no option other than to get a car to get home because otherwise I've got to wait for the transport or all That's day. That's going to have to get yeah. rescued. Yeah. And we live like two hours apart, so yeah. I'm not generous enough to want to take him home. That's fair enough. So he's going to have to buy enough. something. I yeah. think we should see, let the viewers decide who's ended up with the best car at the end of the day. Because I'm going to try and buy a few. James needs to buy at least one. I think you need to be, buy one and drive it home as well. Yeah, I'll drive fair. one. Yeah, see if we can each at least buy one car and drive it home Are and we? make it home. Because that's not always what happens with me, for sure. Have we got any financial limit on this? What, are we going to buy a, a sub 5k car or a sub 10k okay, car? Okay, yeah, let's go. Sub 5, I Sub 5, sub that's five, fair. Okay. Yeah, so at least there's some limit on it. There's no good me buying a 15 grand Merc and. Yeah, and then saying I didn't get home in a. <laughs> How'd you get on with your Suzuki Ignis 2007? <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, yeah. let's wander around and see. We have got uh, permission, by the way, to do this, haven't we? We have, yeah. yeah. Well, you're interested in this one? Yeah. So, what, what would you say, Joe? Yeah. It's the standard checks for a Fiat 500. 1.2, is it 1.2 isn't it? Timing chain. Timing chain. The 1.2, we need to make sure it's 1.2 not to an air, don't we? First thing with 1.2, get under the front and see if you're leaking from the sump. Because the sump's rot out for fun on these. It's got a good sump. And then you rear beam. This is going to go for quite a lot of its first car for isn't it? It does tend to be a bit more excited the first cars that go through. So your rear beam's okay and your sump's okay, so really that's a good starting point. It's nice mileage, 55. Yeah. The, be the engines themselves are tough as old boots. If it starts and runs, it'll be okay. Um, so it'll be the gearboxes the next thing. Then they've got chopped the gearboxes, haven't they? So you need to make I sure. I like that James was talking to me about mechanical stuff as if I really have a clue. I know the obvious things to look out so for, but. Oh, you got your hands dirty. No, no. I mean, I used okay. to build motorbikes and whatever, but not these days. No services general 1.2 doesn't worry Especially me too much. Especially on 55,000 miles, it's not. Yeah. Cam belt's not expensive to do. We do an oil filter on the cam belt, give people confidence it's been, you know, it's, it's got done what needs to be done and you should be alright on it. So, um, cap, so you want two grand tops? Yeah, it says cap is 2.8. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you already, yeah. you're not getting it. Yeah, I'm not getting it for two, no. So, where oh, do so you a pan roof as well. Yeah, I, I mean, by the time you paid fees though, at two and a half, you're going to be at three and then you've got like a K margin to get everything done and you do a cam belt on it, you're going to be making 500 quid by the time you're done. Right, the view is I'm going to go two and a half max on that. We're going to go two five. See if I can't get my right hand straight away. It's a bit, that is a. It's not a not much of a risky buy, is it? You don't want to hold out too long. Oh, well, he's got your hot running already. Yeah, that sounds right. Blown exhaust. Yeah. That's all right. That's a bit of a bit. Isn't that he's tuned in. You can hear it from a mile away. Oh, Royston will be happy with me. Get, get down, Royston. Get down and hear them yourself. Get your hands on them. Have a look at it. Stick your head in with the boys, ask him some questions. Yeah, yeah. This one, look, someone loved their Suzuki. They've got a little mat on the front there for their phone. Oh, yeah. It says Suzuki on it. So this tells me that if they really loved their Suzuki, the only reason they'd get rid of it is because the gearbox is munched. Or they wanted to upgrade to another new Suzuki that they really loved. When no. have you ever known anybody go and get a new car just because their old car was getting on? Go and get a new car because they, they love their old one so much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they do it because it's broken. These Ooh. really, oh yeah. That's okay. the problem with red paint as yeah. well. So you need a bumper paint on it. What are you paying for a rear bumper, do you reckon? Two fifty. That's not a bad one to do. Two fifty. Yeah, I'd say. Paint's expensive now, is it? With COVID, 
stuff that people wouldn't have painted before they're now painting so all the painters are absolutely stacked full of work yeah. and the prices have gone up this is everybody messages me and say first what should i get as a first time car what should i get as a little runabout high-end i10 high-end i10 every time every single time 127,000 miles i've actually sold a retail one with 120,000 miles on yeah they get a funny light sort of a, a echoey top end head to them but it'll, they'll go on forever like that they just get a bit tacky at the top see, end you've got until see this would be perfect for our little cheap pitch as well not that i'm going to compete against you you have it um yeah. well i'm not going to have it am i because i'm not going to be able to bid because i don't understand how guys pay the money they pay for these and then it's got mot till november it's got service history, good service history by the looks of it. We it's should be only 640 quid. We should be checking the MOT at this point to see what it actually included, shouldn't we? we I never well, do that. I always get, I say, I bought a car from auction and I didn't really check the MOT, I should have done, etc., etc. Yeah. Et and they're like, oh, you're an idiot. That's the first oh, thing yeah, I do when I'm looking at a car. It's like, you're, you're looking checking at one, one car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to buy 30 in a day. Yeah. I don't think you get less than two grand for that retail. I think you could probably sell it with the MOT that's on it. Should we check the MOT on it and see what it actually yeah. says? I'll tell you what I do. I'll run a vehicle score check on it. Oh, well that gives us the, what's actually happened on the MOT as well, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you What get... I can also do is put the reg in and give you a score from can 1 you? to 999. Let's see if I agree with... Let me see if I agree their scoring. Let's see how much your price goes down. I actually haven't been over the other side of the car to see what it actually looks like. Can you stay oh, in? Okay. 638 out of 999. Not bad. They know their stuff. They the, know. Only, the only bad parts against it really are that it's over 10 years old and over 100,000 miles or we know that oh, we've got a bit of blistering 68% up here. pass rate on its MOT uh, that's a cool thing Did clean MOT with this most recent one shut up yeah prior to that all it failed but on brake pads prior to that it was two clean MOTs and a and just a couple of um, anti-robot linkage oil leak but not excessive sump yeah, was an advisory that. four years ago they do that a bit oh, oh it is a bit wet underneath is there was it? a bit of a leak from the sump, yeah. It's not hitting the floor though, so that's probably why it's gone for MOT. Yeah, because it's changed the rules, didn't they? This, yeah. That's going back to three years ago. It could be around about the time where it said it has to drop X amount on the floor yeah. while it's before running. it's actually yeah. an issue. My MOT assessors don't seem to understand that. They still seem to put them on as an advisory regardless. The kind of thing with that is, you could, they're not actually too hard to put a sump on, put a fresh sump on, to be fair. Or you just advise somebody that it's got a little bit of a weep. And there's nothing wrong with selling a car with a felt like that because it doesn't stop you running the car you just say that check the oil every six months and make sure because it's not you know it's not it's going to take quite a while to lose a litre doing that as long as you advise people you're all right or like say you get it and get it done that one that one's that one looks decent but i think i'd struggle to get it for the money they say if you were buying this or perhaps james even you can do the ultimate report plus it's 11 pounds 97 use my code shifting metal 20 you get 20 percent off making it just under 10 quid is there any way of upgrading it so that it guarantees it will get me home <laughs> No, that's not a service they offer yet, but perhaps they will. But this is how crazy the small car market is. So it says that cap clean on that is 640, but retail is only 1895. So you've got 1200 quid margin to pay 300 quid in fees. So you're down yeah. to 900. You've got to get it home. You've got to, I mean, you could set it with the MOT that's on it. There's a few bits and bobs to do it. You'd, be, you'd struggle to make 500 quid out of it, but I reckon it will go over that cap price as well. Sorry, I was just on the phone to the fifth emergency service. The what? Fifth emergency service, Adrian from A and K. Oh yeah. Van service. He can't pick it up today, so he'll have to pick it up tomorrow. So I absolutely do have to buy something I can drive home in today now, and I have no option. What's your viewpoint on Hondas then? Because people say they're indestructible. I have just as much trouble with Hondas as I do anything else. It's rust, isn't it? Again, I think Japanese. Yeah. Just end up with rust problems. And well, I've got one now, and it's the heater matrix I need to do it on. It's a right balls out. But this probably would get me home, wouldn't it? Yeah. They go for good money, don't they? You have to make sure you got back in daylight, unless you want to use the headlights. Yeah. So you need a good buff. 1.2 VTEC SI. Wing wearer. You're going to need to find a new wing wearer. Yeah. Where's it come from, that one? Oh, Carco, Carco group. group. So, they did that's, yeah. so, that's a, so that's a good example of what we're talking about. That's a main dealer part exchange. Yeah. So that will, that, that won't be in Give here. Give you a bit more confidence. Yeah, it won't be in here because someone knows it's a wrong. It'll be in here because they just trade out. It's just they, not their stuff, yeah. They, they put everything into auction. So that's probably a not 2308, it's probably not bad I mean, I'll, I'll, just to chime in, I wouldn't say that's a guarantee the car's okay, because as we've thanks, discussed... Thanks, thanks for that, to disclaim yeah. you know, to me, uh, <laughs> People go to main dealers and tuck them up with park changes, the same as they do with us independent dealers as well. Doesn't lock. So, okay. Have you, you missed the, the uh, 
the first warning sign. Oh, yeah. So that's for that. Covers missing. So, but that could, that's you know, again, you can read into everything. You can read into People tell you in the comments that these things are guaranteed, aren't yeah. it? Well, that's, that's obviously been towed onto yeah. a thing and whatever, but no, it could have just fallen out. So that is retail is three and a half, which I think sounds quite low. I think you're three nine nine five at any jazz quite comfortably. I'd have said once it's polished up, it's going to be a lovely looking thing once it's polished up. I would, I would to get me home. I would actually do two on that. I think. I'd say. What do you say? We haven't looked underneath yet, have we? I've never looked at the M&T either. Yeah, let me do a. Let me give you the cheerful news on this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice spec. It'll clean up all right. And it's got the right engine. 590 out of 999, so it's looking better. It is saying a few things about MOT though, so... Oh. Alright, well you had two advisories on your last MOT, or your last couple of MOTs. The last one was a child seat. Okay. Always irritating to have. Yeah. Um, near side rear tyre slightly damaged, cracking or perished. Is that near side rear? That's this one. Mm, it's hard to tell now that it's been slathered in... Do you, have you found that a tyre shine can actually close up cracking sometimes on the side? Yeah, so fill yeah. them in, yeah, or whatever. Headlight has a product on the lens, well that was just where it was fuzzy or whatever it's been. That's not bad, that needs a, that needs a paint on the rear spoiler. I might fluff up. Nothing is jumping out about grass. And if you haven't got the arches bubbling away or whatever, which they tend to do, don't they? It's got main dealer plates still on it, Bristol Honda. Jazz. Yeah, main dealer plates front and rear. This will even tell us common problems to look out for. Faulty ignition switch, transmission shifting problems, electrical system failures like Locks. it won't lock. Could be simple though. So the mileage is, mileage is okay, it's under 100k. It's come from a main dealer. It's got main dealer number plates on it. And the MOT streets, this is the one to probably put quite a strong bid on I'd say. But you ideally want to hear it start up. As a general rule, they tend to be okay, don't they? But they still can get head. I mean, what's the mileage? It's 93, I think. Oh. For what people well, you say, easily see these at about 180,000 miles, yeah. you know. And I think they're a bit low on the retail amount. I think now 3995 quite comfortably, I'd say. So, yeah, I think I'd go to probably go to two on that, I'd say. And it says that cap is 18, so. I've got to say, we might be in a chance today because it is. 18 minutes past nine now, and the auction starts at 9.30. Does it really? I can't really see many other traders here. Um, so, yeah, I've got a few. Oh, Nissan Note. That's something that'll get you home as well. I like a Nissan Note. Do you like a Nissan Note, though? I need a dent man. I need a dent man. That Nissan Note, automatic, 1.6 with 147,000 miles on it. Dinged up front wing. This is going to go all the money, isn't it? Can you say? I'll tell you what would go quite cheap, it probably would get you home, is a petrol yeah. CRV, but it is a petrol, so tax on that would be 400 quid. Yeah, see everybody's always all, all, over the, everybody's all over the automatic tunnel, it's all about yeah. the autos. Kathleen is 1500 quid, retail, auto traders two and a half, so well, less than two and a half, so it's not, it's less than a grand across it, yeah, it'll go strong. You, know, you, you can charge a premium for autos because the more, so many more people on the road who can only drive an auto these days. Yeah. Two five two one. This I know it sounded like it started all right then as well. This has got an absolutely perfect MOT history. Never had any advisories. Sorry, I had one advisory for a tyre about five years ago, but its MOT does run out in February. It's so it's, it's 24, so I can drive it home. Did you go as far as? I mean, don't forget you've got a bit of a scuff across here and bits and pieces. You've do you know what? With, the, the, with, with small, or would you not worry so much on this price? I wouldn't even bother on this one. I'll tell you why, just because small worries are so popular at the moment, yeah. you're better off selling it a bit cheaper and not yeah, getting the Yeah, just say, we've just got yeah. this in, it's here, come grab it where you can. Yeah. yeah. I'd spray the alloys, tidy the alloys up. I have this in my watch list as well. might just be able to get that under the £5,000 limit for our challenge. We'll have to see. I'm interested to see what James' bidding technique is going to be. You know, we've got the, the head nod, the hand up, the, the well, wave, I don't, I don't the elbow. A, I, don't, I don't have a number. Have you got a number? Have you? Yeah, so you just write it on the back if you want. We'll just go and tell them. 
So I'm bidding on his account so I can run a mile. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck with all the pups. I'm going to get bidding mad. He sloped off look. That's because I reckon he's seen the Honda Jazz coming through. 64,000 miles. MOT till November. Captain never had 100 quid. Yeah, look at him all over here. That's a bit of James, that is for sure. I thought he was slope enough for that. I don't think he'll go cheap. Well, away, we've got a little car to get home in. And this, people, is why you check the MOT histories oh. before you buy cars. <laughs> oh, it? it was a long MOT, though, till November. It is, but so it's horrible, isn't it? On thing. Yeah, it's going to put a long bit up, but it's a quick trade on type thing. I got a video out that's on five top mistakes not to make an auction. I'll send you the link. <laughs> that's in there. What about this? Yeah, that was a good little car. Back to the beginning again, now they jumped out of the line. Yeah, they're out of alignment now. This will be almost guaranteed then, that means on this, um, you need the battery. Yeah. Although it's true, it's not the first time around. Oh, we did look at it, didn't we? I said about the oil on the sun, maybe. Was that that one? Oh, no. Oh, no, it was a different one. But not excessive. See, I didn't see it. I thought some of it was pretty good on it. It's all sport condition, which is just blowing, isn't it? He said. Yeah. So I did go at 2.5, which was pretty much where I wanted to be on that. I don't know, maybe I should have had another bid on that. The trouble with things like that Honda as well, what I did wrong, rookie mistake with the Honda Jazz as well, is I took it over a thousand, which I imagine takes into another fee bracket. Yeah. The brand, yeah. yeah. I make these mistakes just to help you people, you know that, don't you? This <laughs> is all set up, it's scripted. <laughs> Let's go have a look at this little 107, I got that in my list. It looks like a shark mouth, the black appeal is so bad. Around the cap as well, so it's not just the front bumper. I think we'll leave it. That's me calling and begging anyone with a trailer to go and pick a Range Rover up. <laughs> How's it doing? Have you got this i30 and i10 on your list? I've got the i10. Oh, is the i30 the one with the Dennis Wing? It would be, it was a 16 Auto, 70,000 miles. Oh, yeah, 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 I want that one, yeah. I got a Passat that I'm interested in, that's coming up in 20 lots or so. I'm going to go and have a look at this from a sat that uh, I'm interested in. Good 
for his bidding, eight, bidding, nine, four nine, four thousand, a hundred, bidding, forty nine, fifty five, five thousand, five fifty, five thousand, fifty, five thousand, fifty, five thousand, fifty, five hundred, 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 fifty, five very small a margin. He's very happy with himself. That's definitely there's a few, get a few people, who, especially when they see the camera, they want to make a point about video. So he literally looks at me and was smiling. He's like, it's alright, you can have it. Well, he's like, what have you been up? Uh, that was that. He's got a retail of like 7 4. And he bid 5 5 or 5 6. So, like, 6 grand all in. 1400 quid. The prices are constantly going down a little bit. It's, um, I think, to it. I think the market is, is dropping out. Yeah, the idea that they out, that they, that they'll scare you off, you know, is what we do day in, day out. It's not like we just jump on it and give it anything. It's like, no, you can have it, like, I've got a price, I'm just sticking to it. And I was like, if I get it for five, it's, you know, sensible. Oh, it's about James will tell me those 1.2 engines, the Dig T engines, are bad news. What's that? You just bought that, did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, I'm slightly over our £5,000 budget, so I've got to buy something else. But frankly, I could probably buy one of their electric milk floats, and it would be classed as a bit better than their jazzy ball. So, yeah. <laughs> no stress, really. So, while. While, he, while they were scoffing bacon style, I was out here bidding and I've won a Suzuki Swift automatic that isn't on camera because I've given them a filming today because I've got a film crew in. So, but I didn't check the MOT, so I'm feeling very confident right now. I'm feeling confident because in an under five grand competition and you bought a small CT petrol automatic, you should be able to win no problem at all. But James, that's got me in a bit of a back foot here for a an under £5,000 car, which is his kind of speciality. Well, there's a Micra, an Adam. Do you want to find out what James is sniffing around? Oh, this is, oh, this is his note. Your note now. I'll be tempted to nick it off him just to try and compete with the under five grand thing, but it's only got a month's MOT on it. In fact, when we all know about my issues with getting MOT tests and things like that. Okay, I bought that and I'll try and nick this off him, but it's, it's got less than a month's MOT on it and I cannot be bothered. You can't use girlfriend to sell it, you can't sell it, you can't sell it, you can't sell it. Oh, and, and the new rules come in. It's got to be full blown retail. No, actually, no. Don't sell it where it's retail. I was just doing the best car. No, no, she sells it. They're going to want to make the most money out of it. The rules have changed. The goalpost has moved. Right, let's go out here, Toby. My winner is coming through. We've got to make sure we buy it. They did, yeah. I might even have a buyer for this. That's a good point, Toby.
online. Uh, I'm running out of road here. You are, you're going to have to buy something. I'm going to do a panic purchase. Yeah. I should have got, I should have been more for that golf. I got someone who's looking for a five ball golf. Yeah, that golf came to a minute ago. I was winning. Decent value for the competition, isn't it? Yeah. 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 If that doesn't go silly. All the all the fifth part of the round going for it is quite nice. It's a good one. 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 I could pick and choose from all my sub 5k cars, the side which I went to the That's the one I entered the competition. Uh, I think maybe you need to make a decision before you leave. I was happy to go up to, because I knew I needed something, in a bit of desperation, about two and a half. What's the retail? Just to be, just to be in the in the game, but what's the retail? Uh, it's probably about three and a half, but you know, I was desperate. So. Yeah, I'll be interested to see whether a, micro, a silver micro sells quicker than a Fiat 500. I'd have said a Fiat 500. That Fiat 500. Micro, the retail on it is three two four nine, you know which is probably three and a half. Yeah. And what do they pay? Fifteen hundred plus fee, so let's say nineteen hundred. How long is the MOT on it? Uh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah. I never actually. It's got eight months on it. I never got underneath my Fiat 500 and checked the sum from the rear beam. That's what I didn't look at. They're actually part behind each other. That was the reason for that. Did we spot this? I did as I went round, but that might pass. That. We can make it look uh, better. It's got a roof rack. I mean, that's where it's been. Yeah. Right. So, peoples, let's have a little look underneath and see if I've just bought a rotten beam or not. Uh, the silencer's rotten, but they always are on those. It's just the shield around the outside of the silencer, so you can cut it off. I haven't bought a Fiat 500 for ages. Ah, this headlight's not great. You need a sticker set. And then if you're not, if you're going to spin it off quick. It's not putting oil on the ground or anything. Do you know what I've done with these before? Back in the early days when I started doing this, because you've got green, white and red, yeah. you get some red electrical tape. Just cover the whole you can thing. go over the red section, trim it around. Like I've done it. that before and it actually looks decent, you know. Yeah. I think I'll probably just heat them up and pull them off. Yeah. Um, the wheels are decent. Yeah. This one Especially is, is that and it's part. got the red leather inside as well. Mm. So we, the question is going to be on this one, is the gearbox any good or not? That's what tends to be bad on Good them, news is, you've got a pan roof as well. Yours is definitely cooler than mine. Red leather inside. Hello, young first tide driver. Would you like the uh, Grandma <laughs> Silver? It's not easy. Oh, I got a scuff here as well. 
That's what happened since I bought it. That wasn't there. <laughs> I literally did as I walked by with the key. <laughs> Actually, I'm feeling better about it now. I'm feeling better. Is your roof I, got uh, speed humps in it? I thought you had a massive dead <laughs> So did I through it? I was like, what on earth is that? I love the fact that we, I, we can be so positive about stuff we have. Been yeah. That's, that's the auction high. So this, the game plan with this one is if it runs and drives okay is get the Moors boys just to do a quick safety check on it and then flog it with the MOT it's got on it and do nothing other than pull the stickers off, I think. And then make it cheap. I'm going to clean this, do a safety check and we'll just... Do the same. Yeah. Get it Get it on Facebook. Find some old lady who, you know, so needs taken advantage of. We have to do is call each other yeah. and agree we're going to list at exactly the same time. Yeah. Exactly. Stick it on social media. I've got it. They list it exactly the same time on Facebook, yeah, and then see how quickly they sell. And who gets, tell you what, there should be deduction points for who gets the most time wasters because you're going to get more than me. No, I don't think I don't get time wasters. Mm. I, don't, I do walk around video and then they, they come by. The thing as well is, I think we should also factor time into it because it's all well and good if one of us makes more profit, but we had to spend loads of time and effort yeah. into it because time is money, isn't it? So we'll make the rules up as we go along, yeah, yeah, okay. A point for every hundred pounds you earn, a point deducted for every day over the other person's or whatever. Or and then we toss it up in six months' time to see who's had a warranty claim. So comment this down below. Oh no, hang on. So, oh, what's yours? Engine operation has got an exclamation mark on it. Oh, oh he's dear. like, oh, I'll get that one. That's the best car of the day. Oh, look at this. Ticks across the board. Ticks across the board. So just to be clear, is this car you're choosing not the absolute bag of nails? Jazz that you bought. Yeah, yeah. That's your bag of nails, Jazz is going down the scrapyard. Your mind's got 42 in it. What's the mileage on yours? Uh, 71. Oh. So the warning is for static gear selection, first and reverse. So, so something about gear, but oh, an engine starts with or without the aid of a battery pack. So I've probably got a flat, but mine's going to need a battery then. So um, if, if one of you'd like to buy this and um, get yourself over to cgcarsales.co.uk. <laughs> this now. is our video, by the way. That's going to get bleeped out. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to have my number on there with, with micro details. <laughs> Literally, you're going to basically edit all my cars out of the video. Yeah. And at the end, guy, I had a competition and he got nowhere. We'll just crop in clips of that uh, Yaris hey, going look, through smoke. If I run, it has an operating door handle, it hasn't broken off yet. That's rare. This is in for a reason. This this will have a bad gearbox. This will have a bad gearbox on it. Where did it come from? I didn't even see where it came from. I just bid on it. It came from. Aston Barkley Wilson's. What's Wilson's? It's a main, it's like a franchise, I think. But mine came from the same place. So. Oh, did it? Both Wilson's cars then? Yeah. Wilson's, if you'd like to hook us up with some sponsorship as well, that comes come, come straight to us with your back exchanges. Depending on how good these cars are, you might yeah. not want that. Which one are you going to drive back? This one? Yeah. Trying to remember what else no, he's bought first. Well, if oh, you're not driving your competition car, I might drive my nice Tornio, which is over there. Right, so there we have it guys. I am heading home in the Ford Torneo, which actually seems to be absolutely lovely. This drive's really nice. So I'm very pleased with this. I'm pleased with the Qashqai. I think I'm pleased with the Micra, but we'll find out. Obviously there'll be follow-up videos from me and Chops on how much we managed to get for those. And who wins in the end? It was actually really fun having someone else there bidding with you again. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to buy much because James was all over it. But luckily we both got three in the end and uh, hopefully that comes across and it made for good viewing and this uh, was a video that you enjoyed. If it was, make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Head into the description, find the link for James's channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Loads of really interesting content that he puts out all the time, giving loads of information about the car trade and life in the car trade. So make sure you check that out. Don't forget you can follow both of us on Instagram as well. I'll put those links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Got it in, is it gonna fire up? Uh, I'll just see if it starts. It, it's unlocked, so. That clutch is slipping like crazy. But no power steering. I know what would cheer him up. Shifting metal air freshener in his car. Free of charge, compliments of Joe. That'll do the trick.